What extent does your faith in God help you achieve success, you know, in, in football, in a chosen career? In the group itself, we had certain players that they were even more in God than some of us, um, like uh, um, Christian Jan, Atta Jan, um, and then uh, Raymond Fenny. Mm -hmm. um, so they help us a lot. Like they preach us, they talk about God, they, they make being kind, you know. So um, as a team, we went through a lot. Sometimes some certain games even during the qualify, it was really tough, you know, like uh, even the fans and the Ghanaians were t telling the coaches to um, sack all of us and then get new players, you know, but the coaches had beliefs in us that we can make it. And with our prayers, we were able to achieve it. Going through um, the qualify, like even traveling sometimes, we would get stuck in the uh, Ivory Coast. Okay. We stayed in Africa's airport for three days. Wow. It was really tough. We were going to training tour in uh, one of the African countries. It was because we were going to Mali. They said we have to go there, Niger, because the weather is almost the same with uh, Mali. That way, the heat, we can get used to the heat. So we went to Niger. But before going to Niger, we have to go through uh, Ivory Coast and we get stuck in Ivory Coast. It was really tough, but then our prayers and everything, we were able to go through. So the celebration and everything, I mean, there, there were stories underneath yes. to, to the success we were watching on, yes. you know, on, on television and everything. Even time. in Ecuador, we almost got a plane crash. We were going to a different state to play. So when we flew, then all of a sudden, they started telling us that we should tight our belt and everything, and uh, we have to go back to the airport. We can go continue, so we have to go back to the airport. So land. we didn't know exactly what was going on, but then when we landed, they told us that one of the engine died. So we were almost- uh, Engine failure. Yeah, engine failure, so wow. we were almost crashed, so it was really, but I believe that with our prayers and everything, God was on our side. Yeah. Okay. So, so would I be right in saying maybe maybe God was on was not on the side of the Brazilians then? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Does God really care who wins the football match? Um, I believe, you know, when you ask God for something, whoever believes in God and your faith will make you successful so i think our faith help us to be able to god to help us to win the uh, overcome the brazilians mm -hmm. i don't think i think the brazilians didn't believe in god the way we did so that's why <laughs> <laughs> your faith was higher yes okay exactly. so in the game itself i mean uh, we just watched the highlight before mm -hmm. coming on the set we scored first mm -hmm. we scored second brazil was trying to do catch up and you actually scored the, the opening goal. Mm -hmm. Can you just walk us through it before the game? How pumped up was the team? How confident were you? I mean, this is Brazil, and they, they have all the names, they have everything, and people will almost always you know, choose them over a nation like Ghana in a context of, like that. How psyched up were you going into it? Um, I would say all was about preparation. We prepared really well from day one through the uh, training camp towards the um, tournament. So, and Kuchadi always said that preparation eliminates fear. If you prepare, you don't fear. Whatever comes, you know that you're ready for it. And because of our preparation, we know that, we knew that we can um, stand in uh, Brazil. And with our record also, we didn't lose any match before the uh, final. So our confidence and prayers, even in the dressing room going to the, uh, the field, we were praying. Uh, we were a very strong group with prayers. So I think the prayers boost us, our confidence and everything, and we were able to overcome the fear. Mm -hmm. And um, how did you feel scoring the goal, the opening goal? It was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. Um, as a captain, and being able to play a major role 
to win the tournament. It's not just I play part, but then I play a big role. It was great achievement and great good feeling, and I, I felt like I'm, I'm I was blessed mm -hmm. to be in that position.